in the MAPD algorithm. Uh, this is the joint work with the Gary Grid and the Tracy Lang. Uh, we are lucky because Tracy, we have the Tracy, the developer of the Lee Algebra Vector Field, and uh, we use the LAVF as a platform to developing the MAPD algorithm. So I want to ask the Tracy to introduce the Lee Algebra Vector Field. And then I will talk about the MAPD. Hi, um, I'm Tracy. I'm the person who developed the LBA package. It was part of my PhD uh, back to 2011 to 2015. And uh, the LBA package is some kind of package where my goal is trying to be able to help people to, to find out what are the uh, information about the DEs underneath without attempting to solve the DE system. So trying to find out what the, uh, knowing the, the uh, differential, differential system, the behavior, whether they are scalable, whether they are uh, be able to translate through the special or was translate between the time is actually important for us. But solving the D is not always possible. So that's why the package what we have here is trying to explore just underneath in the last stage of what we call the determinant system before we attempt to solve them. And uh, we were able to achieve that by developing a uh, few of the algorithms and then be able to implement those algorithms with a, with a very, very comprehensive toolkit called the Algebra of Vector Fields package. And uh, because I also had a background in software engineering, and uh, I was able to uh, try to obey the software engineering principle design, and I'll make sure all the package I built, there's about three in total, that are in the object-oriented design principles, and uh, we're using the maple objects. So it was pretty new at the time, back to 2015, and everything was not in the guideline. So we basically explore, we hit the, we hit the wall, and then we ask everybody, nobody knows the solution, and then we just go forward with whatever the things we can do. And then we had the uh, um, help pages, and then we have a uh, text with everything, just to make sure it's in a professional standard. And it was lucky for me to be able to be able to make the package use for the Sarah. But as soon as I finished my PhD, she started hers. And uh, she was able to use LLVF as a platform for um, her uh, PhD to be able to extend what we have done, my, my supervisors have done in back to 2015. So now I'll take the, uh, the talk back to Sarah to learn for her to introduce about what she's doing for her PhD. <laughs> Yeah, as uh, Tracy mentioned, uh, what's the problem solving differential equation? The first thing that comes to my mind using our mind is using the D solve or PD solve. But uh, we don't have the get the result by using this one. <coughs> as Tracy mentioned, we can not solve the equation all the time. For example, we can consider this ODE and if we use the D solve, we have some things, but the user won't be happy to have this result, or maybe we have some another DE. This ODE, this solve, doesn't show anything, doesn't have any result for that, and also it's happened for some of the PD. And PD solve cannot successful to solve this equation. But it's not the whole of the story for the solving the differential equation. And uh, uh, we know this uh, differential equation has admitted <coughs> to Lee symmetry algebra, and we have the Lie algebra vector field package can uh, explore the um, structure, the algebraic and geometric structure of the differential equation, and we use this one to implement the MAPD algorithm. And now it's the time to talking about what is the MAPD algorithm. At first. I will talk about the MAPD in informal way. And what's the goal? We, are in, we, we would like to find the mapping that maps the nasty differential equation arise from the application to a more nice differential equation. Suppose we have the nasty differential equation. 
and we aim to map this nasty differential equation to the more nice one and uh, we would like to this map be invertible just by exploiting the symmetry and uh, map the differential our goal is non-linear differential equation to the linear equation and uh, we know uh, this uh, the symmetry transfer the nasty to a differential equation to itself and of course by the isomorphic, isomorphic <coughs> the linear one and the nice one to itself and uh, we know the mapping differential equation has a long history and in the geometry and application it dates back to the 19th century by the Li and uh, but uh, uh, they inherit the computational and theoretical difficulty and it's the motivation for us. And our work is related to the work with the curtain and uh, all well and also I can say particularly our work influenced by the Lake of Gert and the Michel. They introduced the first linearized algorithm for the just OD, not PD, and uh, some non-algorithmic work with the volumen and comic. Uh, oh, uh, and uh, this work is referred to our recent paper, is the symmetry-based algorithm. I don't want to get the many details about the MACD, and I just give you the overall, uh, overall view of that, and if you are interested, you can see the details of that on, in our paper. This is the joint work with the Reed and uh, Tracy. In more details, we have the target, uh, we have the source system that represent by R and we are looking that to map that to the target is the linear one is the we showing with the R hat under the transformation of the this transformation and uh, we use the X and U for independent and dependent variable of the source this is the nasty equation, non-linear equation and the target is the linear with the x hat and u hat as a uh, dependent and independent of the variable. And since the, this map should be invertible, so the determinant of the Jacobian of that should be not equal to zero, just by exploiting the Li symmetry algebra of the source and the target. And we don't have any this restriction on the number of the variable. Oh, symmetry group. Uh, symmetry group is the nonlinear uh, transformation, but uh, they are uh, linearized at the identity, and so and has a rich uh, uh, structural algebraic and geometry structural and um, well uh, to for using the algorithm instead. So instead of working on the Lie group, we are working on the Lie algebra. To doing and it's here to the vector field and we are working on that to uh, s to construct the mapping and we know if there is the mapping between the uh, nonlinear system of the equation to the linear system of the equation we have this relation between the real algebra of that and uh, we have a very nice linear relation between the isomorphism, uh, between the infinitesimal of the source and the target, and it's known as the bloom and Kume, that helps us to construct the mapping, and also for decreasing the computation, instead of using the real, working on the real algebra, we can Use on the Sobli algebra. It's the Abelian Sobli algebra, derived algebra, that the Lie algebra vector field provide all of them for us and facilitate our computation. And uh, what's the problem? Unfortunately, in the application, we don't have the target all the time. And if we don't, we have the target. We have we have the nonlinear equation and in the implementing of the MACD equation we avoid uh, to getting this nonlinear system and also we uh, finding the 
good target as a linear one, it was in the higher priority for us. And uh, the MACD has a two step. The one step is the testing the linearization. And uh, we have we we're using the LAVF package and implement the linearization test introduced by the Lelikov and the Gert and the Michel. And we also add another linearization test by using the Hilbert, it's the known as the Hilbert function, and we are using the Hilbert series. And uh, it's completely algorithmically. And uh, we construct the map, but for having the explicit the mapping, the transformation, it has a cost, and the last that we use, we have to use the heuristic integration for the last stage to ex have an expliciting of the map. And uh, in the mapping, in the map, we have a use of the RIFSIM, the elimination and compilation uh, uh, algorithm, elimination algorithm. In our work, we use the RIFSIM, but we know that Maple has a very good, and uh, such as uh, the Thomas decomposition and differential algebra, and the MAPD has a discharge to use the other one, but we use the RIFSIM. Uh, in the MAPD, we have the algorithm to uh, map the nonlinear system to the linear system, and we know the thing, the key in the mapping of that is the characterize the linearity of the target by the symmetry. And we can use this information to construct the determining system related to the subly algebra of the target by having this information. And it helps us because we know the linear one uh, has a super, um, admitted the superposition. I will not talk about the map DE uh, more than this, and it's the time to go into the demo and see what's the output of the map T. The first example I would like to show it is the first example I use for the. Let me at first, I have to execute. The map D we have that. The first example I show in my slide was this D. We have this C D system and differential equation we can use the D solve of that. This is the output of the DSOF and the this differential equation. And now let's see what's the what's the map D doing on that. We have the source system, the goal and is the two converted that to two linear, map that to two linear, and this is the transformation and this is the output we can this is the option list. We can use the Sorry, X hat you and U hat. You might want to make it a bit larger. Okay, but if I if I using that, I can see some part. Of it. yeah, it's good. a lot. Oh, it can have the whole of that. It's kind of a mess. And let's see what's the output of the map D on that. The map D can transform this equation under this transformation. The x hat is x and u hat is u squared. Can transfer that system of the equation to this nice one. And let's see what's the result of the D solve on that. Yeah, this is the third order differential equation, and we have exactly three equation, three solution. And if you like, you can check the result. And this is everything is correct. And you see 
the two sides of that is equal. And we have the other example, and that's this one. The D solve is not successful to solve this one. We use this example, and we show uh, this is the running example in our paper, and we go to of all of the steps of the MAPD by this example. And we have this D equation. This is nice. Eh? This is non-linear differential equation, and this solve yields nothing. Still working on that? No. We don't have any. And now, by using the map D, it can map this non-linear equation to the linear one under this transformation. The x hat is u squared plus u x squared and the u hat is minus x and transform that nonlinear equation to this nice equation. And this is the result of that equation. It's the linearization. And we have the time in the output. What is this time? The first time it shows the time of the, the we have two tests, linearization test, li, lake of LGM is the lake of Gert and the Michel test, and the other one is the Hilbert function test. This is the first one, and this is the second one, and the last uh, time is the timing of the existing and construction of the mapping. The output of the mapping, map D is a lot, but the reason we add all of that because we have there, we have to show the all of the step of the computation for our referees, the paper. We will clean up that later. And this is the nice example. This is the, uh, this is the test for the Lakoff and the Gertz and the Michel paper, they use this ODE with the order between 3 to 15. And uh, in their computation, they was uh, out of the memory for D bigger than 10. But now, if we execute the map DE on all of that, from 2, 3, order 3 to 15, it doesn't take a lot of time, just I think 2 minutes. And yeah, and I, and I think that the, the point about the the ACOP test is it only applies to ODE, yeah. number one. And number two, uh, we got the they test to run like five or ten times faster by using a tracing Tracy, package. Yes. And now they know about the LAVF and they use that and in so their computation. Yes. That. But that also works for PDE systems. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. For the order 3 to 15, I yield, oh yeah, we have that. And you can see in their computation for D bigger than 10, it was out of the memory. And now we can see this is the Lake of Gert and the Michel linearization test. And we use the Lie algebra vector field and we get this time for order 3 to 15. And this is the timing for the linearization test of the Hilbert function. And this is the whole time for the linearization test and the construction. And we can look at, yeah. And this is the good shape and we have this result for the this ODE test. Yeah, the, the another thing that I can use, another example I can show you that is shows the power of the Lie algebra vector field. We have the Schrodinger equation. 
when n is between 1 to 10 and the PD solve is not successful to solving that, no re result for that, and we try even for the n equal 1, but the, if we using the Lie algebra vector field, the goal of the Lie algebra vector field doesn't solve the equation. It just represents and uh, the structure of that. And the symmetry. And we have that. It shows the structure of the equation. Yeah, these are running through various spatial dimensions. These are simple uh, kind of time-dependent oscillator the fundamental Schrodinger equations for spatial dimensions running from 1 to mm -hmm. 20 or so. Oh, one, two. <coughs> so they're working on quite high dimensional spaces. We use 1 to 10. And it shows us the algebra. And those are the commutator relations for the algebras. So often the physicists are concerned in actually using the algebras because from those you can get information about the eigenstates and the energy eigenvalues and so on. And so on. It just gives you very rapidly these sort of things. Mm. So Thanks, Gary. Yeah. And we have the, this PD, and I have to call the MACD again. Yeah, PD solve wasn't successful to solve that. I will not try that because we try that once and it takes long, long of time and we have to stop the computation. If you are like, you can try that by yourself. And, uh, but by using the MAPD, it doesn't take a lot of time and it gives us, it can map this PD. Yeah, we have that. It's the linearizable and it can map that to this nice system by under this transformation. Oh, the other uh, the other interesting example is the Berger system. It's Berger equation at first. Yeah we can we have Berger equation and if we using the map D, it's not linearizable. And it's computing the dimension of that. The first one is the dimension of the Lie algebra, is infinity. And uh, the second one is the <coughs> dimension of the, the, di the differential. differential dimension, sorry. And the last one is the Hilbert series and it's not linearizable. But we can, we can have the bigger system, it's the linearizable. And we can map that to the nice system of the equation. and we can map that to this system, this nice system under this transformation, the x hat is x, t hat is t, and is dependent variable, and we have the under independent variable. And we have 
many many equation or uh, the other nice equation and I can show you example is the Liouville equation and uh, we had some restriction on the implementing the MATI at the moment MATI working with the differential polynomial system but it works for some of the equation but because we can use the D polyform the common line of the maple and converted this, this kind of the system of the equation to the polynomial equation and we can use the mapping as you can, can see if I using this Liouville equation is not the map the E shows is not doing anything on that but we can use the D polyform of that and convert it to the polynomial differential equation yeah, that we have and we can use the map to E on that and it's the linearization and we have the reform of that and it shows it's not so linear right so and we have the nice product of the output of the reef seam is not linearizable and if we are using the case plot of the reef seam it shows they have different cases and all of them is not involutive and so is not yeah. linearizable maybe i'll make a comment here yeah, so because you're working expert in the reef seam and you're because uh, the the fundamental test is based on differential Hilbert uh, function, which measures the size of the solution space and its generality. And so when you're doing the branching calculations, as soon as it drops beyond below a certain dimension, which is a necessary condition for linearization, it stops the computation and hence doesn't uh, do so. Uh, it's efficient and then it uses this information about that Hilbert dimension to actually get the necessary and sufficient conditions. And we have many, many interesting examples, but I don't want to go through all of them. I think that was enough for showing the power of the MACD. And now what's let me tell you about what's the future of the MAPD we would like most of the differential equation comes from the application included the floating point number and the um, existing compilation differential elim elimination compilation and the uh, the algorithm is not successful and to completing this differential equation and we are interested to uh, work on that and uh, um, we have done for example we have the Poisson equation with a small parameter of that if we are this a small parameter ruin the symmetry and we will get different region of the symmetry. You can see in this graph, the purple one region has a, the symmetry of the one, the yellow part region, the dimension of the Lie algebra is three, and we, the red one shows the dimension of the Lie algebra is 11. So we will get different region of the symmetry. So we can get, we can map the Poisson equation in different equation and this is the part 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 work of the Greg and the Tracy. They are working on the approximate symmetry. We have done we would like to use the numerical algebraic geometry and we have done some implementation and using the Bertini for the completion part of the equation, part of the differential equation. And uh, uh, extended the MACD by using the approximate symmetry and hopefully approximate mapping. This is the future of the MACD and this is the whole of the story I want to tell you and thank you for your attention.
so um, the the mapping is is invertible um, from the original system to the, the simpler system. Um, what I didn't see in the demo, maybe I missed it. Um, is there functionality in the in the package that you've written to take a solution of the simpler system and apply the, the inverse transformation and translate it into a solution of the original system? I think so. But not explicitly. Maybe you can add some more. Yeah. Uh, so ideally, when you, you know, what is solving? So ideally, if you get a mapping to a linear equation, uh, then you would want Maple's D solve or PD solve to return. Uh, this is solved by this variable psi, where psi is, satisfies this simple equation. And getting a linear equation in place of nonlinear is a big win. Yeah. Even if you can't solve, because we have many methods for linear yeah. equations. And even if you wanted to use numerical methods, you could, and you had a finite dimensional solution space, you only need finitely many basis solutions. So that's what the user would want to see. But at the moment, it's kind of weird. Maple's PD solve, if it's given a nonlinear equation, will, and it can be mapped to linear, maybe return some special separable solution or something, which is, so, yeah, so there's stuff like that. So, yeah, this is what, what is useful right. yeah. to, to get yeah. that. So I think that's what the user wants to see, if they've got the target. And the LADF gives you this fast structural information where you can sort of see, because Maple solver, desolver attitude at the moment is try to, the first thing it sees and it can integrate, it tries to integrate it, but integration introduces its own problems. Right. And so LADF enables you to sort of see over the horizon. You can see the structure, and therefore it could have, it's very powerful, PD solve and D solve. But it can see from the structure of the symmetry what are good directions, even if your only interest is an explicit solution. And but, uh, we we're surprised. Many examples just grind on and on and on. So it's sort of, yeah. Questions? Another hand? 